We are talking about this church. We are talking about that church. Hallelujah. You know, this church and that church. The other church is the church in your heart. Tell somebody the church in your heart. And then the other church is the church in this building. Okay? Now, the church A is the smaller church. Amen? The church A is the smaller, but it's the most important church. Yes. The most important church. In fact, it is the churches of A that make up the living faith, which is the church B. So tell somebody, living faith is church B. And do you know the church A? Church A is your heart. All right? Your heart, my heart, is the church A. So, do you know how many churches are here now? Very many. Church A1, Church A2, Church A3, Church A4, Church A5. And these are all churches of uh, A. Together, we have been able to form one church, which is Living Faith. Amen? And Living Faith is nothing but a part of the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. So when I say church A, throughout my, our discussion, know that I'm talking about your heart. And when I talk about church B, know that I'm talking about... I'm talking about living faith, not the church of God. Amen? I'm talking about what? Living faith, as in a, body, a part of the entire body, which are the whole churches of God. Amen? So living faith is our subject today. We want to take living faith to another level. But it, it, it has become obvious that living faith cannot go anywhere except the churches A begin to go somewhere. Do you hear that? That is to say church B cannot prosper if church A is not prospering. Do you agree with me that? Do you agree with me? A child cannot successfully pay his school fees if the father is poor or the mother is poor. So the first family has to be wealthy enough to be able to take responsibility over the child. That is to say, the church is A, much more important than church B. Are you getting it? Is it not strange? Hallelujah. Is this strange? All right. This is my father and my mother. All right. And uh, this is me. All right. Amen. I'm smaller, isn't it? Amen. So these two people have to be successful for me to have success. Are you getting it? Yes. They are to pick me up like a baby infant, train me, and let me grow to become an adult like them before I become fully responsible for my life. Is that not true? Yes. Is that not what happened to you? Yes. When they are not successful, the tendency an of being not successful. Yes. 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 yes, yes. I'll become an adult. But they are unsuccessfulness may tend to beg me to pay my school fees and may end up a motorboy without, which is an adult, but that's not the adult I would have desired to be. 
If they couldn't send me to school, I will become an adult that is not educated. That is not that the adult I wanted to be. And if they are not successful, I have money. And that is not the adult I wanted to be. Case, look at it. Touches A are bigger than touches B. Touches B is the small one. Why? Because success and touch A determine the success of the now. That is to say, supposing church A, this one, a prostitute, a drug addict, all of them inside here is a church of prostitute and drug addict. So look at what church A turned to B into. When church A, we have holiness and righteousness, this church B will become a church of holiness and righteousness. You see that these two church A now can determine how far this church can go. So don't always look at church B for the success of church B. Always look at church A for the success of church B. Are you, there? Are you with me now? So when somebody says this church is not growing, you should watch churches A whether they are growing. If churches A is not prospering, there's no way churches B can prosper. For the success of church B is depending wholly on churches A. And I want you to know that all of us in this church are churches A. So including the pastor, Pastor Henry Udoma is church A. The wife is church A. All of you seated there, church B. A. A. <laughs> Hallelujah. A. I feel myself talking church A. All of us put together make church B. So when you say this church B is no good growing, it's because of the pastor. You are lying because the pastor cannot determine the growth of church B. He can only determine the growth of his church A. Are you there with me? And so, the wife determine her own, I determine my own. Together put, we form the church B. So now, how do we sanitize the church A? Since we know that nothing is holding church B from growing, except church A begins to grow. So I will be interested in you prospering, spiritually, physically, and financially. Hallelujah. I will make sure that you are healthy. I will make sure that you are not sick. And I will make sure that you are not lacking anything. Because whatsoever you lack as a church, A, church B is lacking it. Are you there with me? So what you cannot get as a church, A, church B cannot get it. If I don't have a child, if I'm coming to church, I can't come to church with a child. Are you there? Yes. If me as a church A doesn't have a child, there's no way I can enter into this place with a child. So church B will not have many children. It's because me church A don't have. So when me church A have, when I'm coming to church, I come with my children. What happened? Church B have children. It's because church A have. So now that we know this, let's go back to what the Bible has for us.